Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Muhammad Sheikh's channel. Please click the bell icon so that you may receive timely notifications of our upcoming videos. And from your women wives who come with obscenity, so seek from, from yourselves the evidence of four witnesses over them. So if they bear witness, then hold them in the houses until death completes them or Allah makes a way for them. So I was already telling you this. Believing men, women, believing men and women who believes in the ayahs, who believes in the Quranic ayahs. So these women are coming with Faisha. So Allah says, take from yourself four witnesses and if they bear witnesses, you, you confine them in the houses or hold them in the houses. Now in this Quran, and it's not this that you have to see if the woman is coming with this crime, committing this faisha. The Quran doesn't say that those four people were around in the, in the bush, uh, they, they were hiding and looking at this woman. It's not like that. When she has come with a faisha or committing this crime, and you come to know this, because she's coming, you are you're coming to know. So you cannot confine them, hold them in the house until you take four witnesses. It is not of that that you have to find out how and what happened. No, you have come to know this. For confining in the house, you have to have four witnesses. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is four witnesses. You want to confine or hold them in the house. You must have reason for that, for other people to know that I have come to know that my wife have committed this faisha and adultery. So I am confined, I am confining her. So you take four witnesses. Like a marriage ceremony take place. So you have two witnesses from the from the both sides two two witnesses, right? Similarly, to to confine the house, you must have four witnesses. You because otherwise people, why are you confining your wife? You confine your house, confine your wife in your house. So now in comparison to the Bible, I would like to give you here a Bible, a biblical verse. Uh, I will, I will see. I will. In, in according to the Bible, Jews and Christian faith, Leviticus 20 and verse 10, and the man that commit adultery with another's wife, uh, another man's wife, even he that commits adultery with the neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death by stoning. This is a biblical law. You must understand why I am quoting this verse. Because in comparison to the Quranic ayat, if the wives are committing this adultery or faisha, you take four witnesses and hold them in the houses. That's the Quranic law. What is the biblical law? If you have a husband of a husband wife, his wife committing an adultery, you put him to death by stoning. That's the biblical law. This ayah, I, I mean, I mean, I've, have you heard anyone that a husband has confined the woman or his wife in the house? Have you heard in your life? Why are you killing women? You are not following Allah and his ayahs. The Jews and the Christians are not practicing this verse. The put to stone to death, you are killing. You know more than Allah. He provided you this ayat that you confine them in the houses. You don't have to take the life of the woman. But it's going on. And these propaganda media people are putting this in front of them. Never quote the Bible. Then it is a biblical law. Who will be exposed? The Jews and the Christians themselves. They are trying to say that you do it, you are doing it. In the rural areas of here and in, in, in many other places of Iran, maybe in rural area here, somebody honor killing in Pakistan going on and publicizing that is Islam. I mean, amazing thing. You read any ayah, Allah says you lock them in the houses or you confine in your house, but you don't understand. 
because your respect is involved, your ego is involved. You are you a respectable person, you want to kill the woman, your wife. And this, then you protect the media to promote it in Islam and Muslims are barbaric. It is the Jews are barbaric, it is the Christians themselves have gone into this mire. It is their law. It has nothing to Allah's law at all. So now in Surah Nisa 4, continuity 16 ayah. وَالَّذَانِ يَأْتِيَانِهَا مِنْكُمْ فَعَدُوهُمَا فَإِنْ تَابَا وَاسْلَحَا فَعَارِدُوا عَنْهُمَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ تَوَّابَ الرَّحِيمَا And from you if two men comes with obscenity hurt both of them so if they both repent and correct so avoid to hurt both of them surely Allah is off returning most merciful you see in the ayahs that I was referring to previously here it is mentioned first the women are mentioned who are coming with obscenity and then two men are mentioned specifically two men are mentioned who are committing obscenity right and in the previous ayahs I have already read an ayah where Luth al-Islam and his people is mentioned Luth al-Islam people got the punishment and the woman got the punishment so again again here also you see the women are coming with obscenity and two men so that means this kind of sensual desire for men is the same women have the sensual desire for men or the men have a sensual desire for men same they both come in the same category that is why the ayat is for the woman because Luther Islam wife's left wife was left behind she was a woman and here also the women your women are coming with obscenity Faisha so what you have to do you know that you can't kill them you can't divorce them believe me you have to keep them with your in your house that's what you have to do and here two men if two men <laughs> were legalizing this this nonsense act in the some European countries he said if two men comes with that hurt both of them hurt both of them and then if they repent both repent and correct so avoid the hurt to both of them solely of Allah is off returning most merciful what this this ayah and the previous ayah is in continuation that means the woman uh, having a sexual desire with men that is obsidi faisha and if two men are having sensual desire with each other is again obscenity. So you hurt both of them here and the woman you have to confine. You don't have to confine the men. Remember this. So you have to hurt them, punish them. If they repent, then do not, Allah said, do not hurt both of them.